Hey guys, I am super stoked to be heading out in a few weeks to the first ever Midwest Moto Meetup. Really looking forward to going out there, but before I hit the road, there are a few things that I need to do to my 2019 Fat Bob to get Sophie set up to make that just a little bit better of a trip than what it would be if I were to jump on the bike and head out today. Some of the parts that I've ordered have already started coming in, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making some mods to the bike tonight. And then when I'm done in about a week, week and a half, we'll do a big reveal and I'll show you how I've got her set up. But tonight, what we're gonna do is swap out these stock foot pegs for these, which are really cool. They're the serrated mini boards from Joker. We'll do a quick kind of talk through on how to put these on. So before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Mike over at getlowered.com. This is actually the second set of... Um, the mini boards that I ordered. The first set that I ordered uh, from Revzilla came in and they were actually for the wrong bike. Uh, if you'll look here, Joker actually makes a specific version. Actually, it's just the connector, but they, they, they packaged the connector with the mini boards for the 2018 and the above soft tails. Uh, we have a different type of Clevis setup than the older models and um, Mike and the folks over at Get Lowered were really cool when they uh, were checking out my social media. They saw my post about how disappointed I was that I got the wrong boards and had to find some and immediately uh, gave me, sent me a comment and said, hey, we've got what you need. Give us a call. They took care of me. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. This is my first purchase from Get Lowered, so um, it's been great so far. All right, so before we start, I just want to kind of give you uh, an overview of what kind of tools you'll need. You don't need a lot. Changing the pegs out on the uh, 2019, 2018 soft tails, pretty straightforward. You need some snap ring pliers. Actually, you don't need them, but your life would be a lot better if you have these. And that's to take off the snap ring that's holding the pin in through the clevis. The... Um, You'll notice, though, that the C-ring here doesn't have holes on the end, so you've got to kind of work those into the gaps uh, on either side of the, uh, the retaining pin to pull that off, but pretty straightforward. Uh, you also need like a little flathead or Phillips to poke the retaining pin out of the clevis, and this is a 5 16 12 point wrench and the reason you need this is that once we get these on I'll show you how you adjust the angle of the um, of the mini boards by first removing these little allen screws on the bottom I believe that's a eight but I'll check on that um, and then loosening this 12 point bolt that's right here at the top then you can change the angle of the, uh, the mini boards and then lock it all down. You need Loctite because once you get these on and you, you get ready to adjust these, you need to pull both of these pins out as well as that bolt and put uh, blue Loctite. Oh my God, my light went out again. And put blue Loctite on those because um, you don't want these falling off while you're riding down the road. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is use the snap ring pliers and take the C ring off down here. Take your flathead or Phillips, poke that bolt, pull it out. Uh, then you're going to remove the peg from the clevis. Now the problem is you need to make sure that you, you pay attention to how the spring is oriented. But the, the spring really... I guess it can go on two different ways, it, it's, but as long as you make sure you've got the right end of the spring um, into the, uh, the frame here, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, take that off and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the old peg. As you can see, the, uh, the spring here, the spring actually has, has uh, 
one big difference. This end that came out of the frame is longer than this end. So you've got a hole in the foot peg, just like you will on the mini boards, where the short end goes into, and this goes back into the frame. It's really simple as long as you remember long towards the bike, because you can't put it in backwards, even with the short end going in, because the hole is only on one side. So pretty, pretty easy. So you insert the short end of the spring into the hole on the mini boards, and then you want to line up the long end with the hole there in the frame. Pull the board, flip the board all the way up, and then put the retaining pin back in. So there we go. <clears throat> and then we just need to put the uh, C ring back on the rod. So the mini boards are on on both sides, um, went on really quick. But as you can see, there's an issue, and you can see the same thing on the other side with uh, the shifter as well, where the brake as well as the shifter is um, much lower, is much too low for this angle for the boards. And the boards go on parallel to the clevis, but you can actually adjust those to tilt them to fit your liking. And the way you do that is to flip, flip it up. I'm working one-handed here, so I'll have to put this down and come back. But these are the two uh, hex pins. It's a hex one-eighth that you need. You want to pull these two out, and then with a 5 16th 12-point wrench, we'll loosen this bolt uh, so that we can get the right angle. And then the final step would then be to put blue Loctite on these pins and on the bolt, and then put them back in so they're secure. All right, so let's give that a shot. All right, so as you can see, as I've loosened that, now you can rotate these however you want. So I'm gonna play around with the adjustment on these a little bit to kind of figure out um, how I want them. Then I will, then I'll put the uh, Loctite on and get them all tightened up. Okay, they are on adjusted and locked down. I really like these. Uh, you know, you really can't see these too well tonight. The light in my garage is not the best, so I will come back tomorrow. We'll take a look and take them for a test ride. Sleep tight, guys. See you in a bit. Bye. And let there be light. This is so much better. I really have to fix the lighting in the garage when I get back from this, this trip. So I've got the mini boards on. Uh, they're adjusted. I think I may want to lift my shifter up a little bit. I don't want to flatten these out any more than they already are. I've got just enough room to get my toe box under. Um, so I'm just out today, this morning, trying to find an empty parking lot so I can get some uh, slow speed maneuvering training done and kind of start to reprogram the memory muscle for the, the shifter and the, the brake. I really like the way these look. I mean, they're, they're big and chunky like my fat Bob and big and chunky like me. And yeah, I don't know. Take them out for a test ride after I get done with the training here. Okay, I've been riding around the parking lot for a little bit trying to get used to these uh, these mini boards. I think uh, I think I might need to make a couple of adjustments to the shifter, but especially my brake pedal. I never really had an issue with that, like some people do with the stock pegs, but it's uh, takes a very very different motion to operate the brake. I'm not sure I really like that. And I don't want to flatten out these boards any more than they already are. In fact, I'd like to like increase the angle a little bit. So I'll uh, get out the wrenches and 
see what I can do for that when I get back. But right now I'm just checking them out on the highway. I will say, you know, one of the things that I was really concerned about with getting these is I thought that maybe I might not feel as connected to the bike. Uh, that's not the case. Um, I mean, these definitely grip your boots. They've got the um, serrated surface on them. So that's not an issue. Uh, the contact pad is obviously much larger than what I had or what you get with the, the stock pegs. And that makes things a lot more comfortable, but still very connected. So I'm happy. Of course, Harley released their new uh, 80 grit, chunky, moto inspired, big ass pegs uh, right after I ordered these. I still think I would rather go with these uh, Joker Machine mini boards. And I think they're going to serve me very well on the trip. So, anyway, you guys have a good one. I got to go pick up some gear at REI because I pulled out a lot of my old Army stuff and, you know, thinking I was going to use that for this trip. But who would have thunk it after 30 years? The stuff's just kind of not, uh, not in great shape. Ah, who knew? All right, see you next time. Peace.